That's right. We're back on my cool inventions network. This is the segment we call selling secrets because all the entrepreneurs, the inventors, everybody out there who wants to sell stuff need to know secrets on how to get more stuff and more bang out of their sales. Right there. Yep. So I'm gonna, I want to talk about one of the one of the inventors uh, uh, I was talking to was talking about trade shows. Right. Right. This is the place where you get your stuff out. You go to a you go to a show where you know set up a booth and there's people walking by and you're trying to get attention to your product and and I got to tell you something. I attend trade shows all the time. Time and we, I'm so dis, I'm so, I'm, I'm not say disgusted. It's not the right word, but I'm disappointed in how people, when they go to trade shows, how poorly they pitch their products and services. Yeah. Because I want to talk about the pitch on that because you got to pitch. So here's what I want to tell you about: If you go to a home show, if you go to a trade show, if you're at a flea market, I don't care where you are, where people are walking by, the first exercise I want you to do is figure out the expectations of sales. Sales, all right, and here's what I tell you: four times rent. Right, that's the thing. If you've paid a thousand bucks for your booth, you had best be selling four thousand dollars in products or services. Right. Let me tell you something. Stop and think about that. How many people they go to the trade show and they say, oh, "I'm going to get some cards and leads, and I'm going to be fine." Forget it. Hogwash. <laughs> you will go broke. If you're going to a home yeah. show, you're going to a trade show. You best be looking and targeting four times rent. Okay. Absolutely. Now I'll tell you why that's important. Let's say you're doing a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Show. Like we were going to go do the uh, gun show down here. Right. For old times' sakes, we're going to go grab the uh, uh, survival steel that we have. And survival steel is a great selling product. Yep. And we were going to go pay rent at a gun show. And we were going to demonstrate the product and sell the survival steel at a gun show. We were going to do buy one, get one free for 20 bucks. Now, the reason I brought the rent up and the four times rent, because I want you to figure out how much it costs you to be there per hour. For example, it's eight hours on Sunday. You got maybe 12 hours on a Saturday. There's 20. No. Maybe eight hours on Friday. There's 28 hours. You go divide that rent by 28, and suddenly you're going to figure out how much it costs you to stand there an hour. Let's say it's 50 bucks an hour. Okay. So you best be selling $200 per hour because that's what's going to give you the thumbs up and the green light for a trade show. All right, remember yep. that? Yep. So that's the rules that we Andrew and I used to follow all the time. We used to do 100. We had teams of people on the road. My wife, Celeste, and we had people like Andrew, myself, and Celeste, and a bunch yep. of other people in different trucks and different trailers going to different shows. We would do up to 100 trade shows a year. Think about that for a second. That's on average more than two trade shows a week. Yep. I mean, you can't do them every week. And you can't go on Christmas and stuff. So you're doing three, four trade shows a week normally. And we had teams of people. And the first thing we taught them is always get four times rent. And if you don't get four times rent, don't go back. Yeah. That's what we used to do. Right. We used to not return to that trade show unless we could get four times rent, because that means the promoter was overcharging us for the rent, because we knew our business and we knew what we could get, all right? So follow me there, all right? Now, what I want you to, I'm going to turn it over to Andrew. Okay. So let's talk about like Harrisburg Sports Show. Yep. All right. That's the best cook and bullet show in the in the universe, right oh, there. I love that show. Eight hundred thousand people used to show up. A couple yep. thousand boots and get your bullets, get your guns, get your hunting gear, get your Everything. knives, get your whatever the heck you wanted there in the in the hook and bullet area, the hunting and fishing uh, area, right? Yep. And all we needed is a little one. All we needed was a no, ten by a ten, 10 by footprint. ten space. That's so all Andrew, tell everybody what we did on a ten by ten corner. We took out fifty grand one time. Yeah. In twenties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, bills. Remember that? Yeah, we used to do a lot more than that. I mean, I think that show is a 10-day show. Yeah, 10-day show. And in that 10 days, we would turn over. I remember I was going through three barrels or four barrels, I remember, in a day. So 2,800 units. Had 700, yeah, had 700 units in it. So he was turning over three grand a day. He was yeah. kicking all, all by himself. By myself. All by myself. Well, I had somebody with me, but the problem was that guy was a little bit weaker, so he would end up happening. He would be watching me. Right. And then in the end, I just said, you know what, come over here, be my cashier, and take my money, and that's so, easier. So if you're doing, so be, pay, pay attention to what we're doing here. Let me ask you a question, Andrew. Was there a chair on the booth? Not at all. Was there anywhere to relax on the booth? No, not at all. Could you have a sit down anywhere? No. No, you stood the entire time. There yeah. is no sit down. And that's one of the reasons that we use it. We used to have a technique. We used to have a, a, a pitchman hour up, hour down. 
Okay? Right. So what we used to do is if you're doing a trade show, bring a partner. That's second rule number one. So rule number one, four times rent. Rule number two, always have a partner. Don't go alone. Because you cannot, you'll find difficulty staying focused for 12-hour days over and over and over again. Yeah. You'll lose your heart. You'll lose your focus. You'll lose your energy. You'll just go into a lackadaisical sit-down. Next thing you know, you're dying at your trade show. Yeah. So use a technique, what I call, hour up, hour down. So your partner... Is leaves the booth and you're there and you focus for 60 minutes. Focus, focus, focus. Never sit down. Keep it going. Then leave the booth. Somebody else comes in. It's like tag team wrestling. Yep. You're doing tag team wrestling on the booth and they focus, they focus, they focus. Then they go have a coffee, go have a cigarette or whatever you do when you're when you're relaxing for an hour. But stand up hard for an hour. Sit down and relax for an hour. Yep. Hour up, hour down. That's a very common technique you'll see in a good trade show promoter, and that's what I want you to do when you do trade shows too. Now, when you're doing your hour up, Andrew. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you have so you have a bunch of people walking around, right? Well, right. Walking around there. How do you get them to interact with you? Oh, survival seal is easy. Once you just strike it once, it sparks, and right away people are going, "What's that?" Boom! Stop there. Boom! That's called a signature dem. That's a technique. Yeah. Every product has some signature demonstration of it. If you've ever watched me sell stains are out, I tear oil off a cloth. Boom, signature demonstration. Yeah. Survival steel, 15,000 degree spark or whatever. 1,500 yeah. degree, 15,000. 15,000 wow. degrees is the core, the core of the earth. 1,500 degrees spark, That's boom. That catches people's attention. So you yeah. need to catch people's attention in some way. And it's not a brochure. It's not a leaflet. No. It's not a card. You've got to have something that that stops people on their tracks. Boom, stop. Key, now what? Keywords. Check this out. Check this out. Watch this. Take a look. Take a look. Watch this. Take a look. Okay? So I, anytime I, I see uh, Nicole Leon says, I lose my voice, of yeah, course we, you're going to lose your voice. You will lose your voice if you do 12 hours straight. You will not lose your voice if you do hour up and hour down. That's a little technique. Now, we, the, if you do lose your voice. What do you do? We get, we used to get the Singer's Saving Grace. Singer's Saving Grace. Go to Amazon or your favorite store. Find it. Just get some. That's the professional. Uh, oh, it tastes like crap, too. Tastes terrible. But, terrible. But, it oh, works. but it works. <laughs> On there. I lost but, my voice. Yeah. I remember taking some five minutes later boom my voice is back when this guy churning out 300 bucks an hour when this guy's churning out three grand a day when this guy's churning out one million dollars a year by the way three grand a day is one million dollars a year you better have your voice yeah because that's the only thing that's working for you singer saving grace is what professional musicians use right that's right yeah so you, you, you a singer saving grace write that down you won't lose your voice any kind of yeah. job you have that you might lose your voice singer saving grace has come I don't know what it does it coats your voice it goes your I don't, I don't know but it puts uh, even all, professional all of a sudden singer. you can speak again. <laughs> yeah, so, so, professional, uh, uh, professional singers and rock stars who lose their voice, they use uh, 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 singers, singers saving, saving grace. grace on there. Yeah. And never, here's another tip for you. I know you're going to die when I tell you this. Don't drink coffee. Yeah. Coffee will make you lose your voice. Yeah. If you're going to drink something, drink warm lemon water. That's all you can drink. And you right. look at the soothing. So never sit down, stop them, engage them. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a little tip there. We call that in our world building a tip. Right. Okay, right. A tip is a group of people in front of you. You don't want to stop one person. You want to stop all the people. Yeah. Have you ever been to a trade show and the chamois guy's working or the knife guy's working? They build a tip. They don't start presenting to one person. They make a way so they can build up a group of people. So think about your product. Yeah. How can you build up a group of people? One way the chamois guy did, I remember Sal, he was Sal, Sal Judah. He was one yeah. of the best at it. He cut up his chamois in little squares and he was throwing them out to the audience, right? The, and calling them eyeglass cleaners. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so he was giving away free samples, and all of a sudden everybody congregate and stop. Here's, it's not free. I didn't give you a free sample. It was a sample to make you stop and watch us. Boom. There. Okay? So he bribed the people to stop and watch. Yeah. And when he had 30, 40 people, he used to say to people, I just love them, hold up your free shabby. So they were, these people were yeah. like trees holding up their shabby. And everybody in the building goes, what the heck is going on over there? Yeah. And, of course, they, more people aggregated. And when you had enough people to pitch to... Then you started your pitch. Right. So build a tip. Okay, we're gonna. This is gonna be a series on, on on professional selling techniques. So what do we learn? Four times rent. We've learned hour up, hour down, and we're learning build a tip. Now yeah. you don't have to have chamois or fire starters to build a tip. Not at all. We used to sell Sunoco natural gas. Yep. And you know what? I watched the Sunoco people burn fifty thousand dollars a booth. 
crazy burning oh, money. Yeah. And I watched this Formula guy. Formula One car. Formula One car. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the they, booth. Were, they had a Formula One car in the booth. That stops them. You know, a Formula One car. But okay. I, remember, I remember the guy who was running Sunoco. He was sitting on his, he was sitting there in total desperation. So he was devastated. He had just lost his company a quarter million dollars or something. I can't remember. He was lost his company a bunch of money and he thought he was going to get fired. And he came over to me. Was, I, I just happened to be across the aisle and he said to me, how, how do you, I don't get it. You're just turning over money like crazy over here on a 10 by 10 booth. I got this 50 by 40 foot booth. I can't sell nothing. I says, you want to hire me? I said, yes. And I introduced one thing, a basketball. Yep. I noticed at the stations they were giving away basketballs. I says, can you get those basketballs, right? Yeah. I want to give everybody a free basketball, like the free chamois. And get this, so what happens is I gave away free basketballs, but to get the basketball, you have to hear the pitch, right? Yeah. That was the deal. The cards, and everybody yeah. heard the pitch, and he wanted to get this. Remember he wanted to give away the basketball deflated? Yeah. I said, no, 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 it has to be inflated. Why? Because I had what? every kid at the show bouncing a basketball, and every kid at the show bouncing a basketball, some poor sucker's father who had some kids. kids yeah, looked at it and goes, hey, where'd you get that? Basketball. Next thing you know, Boom. all the every, every kid Gantin. brought every yeah. we had everybody in the booth, and that one thing made it. Yeah. We actually pulled off a quarter million bucks on the on the CNE. Yeah. We went from they, they a fifty thousand dollar loss to a quarter million dollar profit over a basketball. Yeah. So sometimes you got to stop them in their track. That's a little couple of tips for you guys on how to stop. We're going to do this ongoing because we're, prof we're professionals at it. We've sold them a crazy amount of... We've yeah. stood 10,000 hours, each of us, on booths. Yeah. We're going to give away these selling secrets. Remember? Four to one rent. Hour up, hour down. Stop them in their tracks, then pitch them. That's your little teaser. We're going to continue this little series, How to Make a Money at a Trade Show. I see the Glide guys are paying attention. You're listening to the My Guy... My Guys... My Cool Inventions <laughs> Network and get selling. <laughs>